Hey, thank you for checking out this video. In this video, we are going to learn how to use accordions, how you can create the drop down accordions in Wix Studio in just minutes. You can customize it as per your requirements and you can have icons and you can have animations also for your accordions. It's very simple and it will take just minutes to create it and you can use it in your client's project or your personal projects. So let's dive in. Okay, so I'm here on my Wix Studio project. Uh, on this canvas, I have this uh, section already created here. If you don't know how to create, just click on this add section because by default you get one section created in Wix Studio, right? So now to add accordion, how you can do that? Click on this plus icon, add elements icon, and then click on this layout tools. Uh, in this layout tools, you will find so many layout tools options. I have already made uh, videos on all of them so you can check out on this channel if you want to learn more about them and click on the accordions here you get one two three four five six different types of accordion designed by wix studio team for you ready to use you just go and make changes to it and it will work right but in this case we will customize it as per our requirements so what i'm going to use i'm going to use this simple one i'll just click uh drag it to my canvas on this particular section so i'll just change it to like uh, 750 pixels and i'll center align it for a while and i will just increase the height of my particular section so here uh, i want to change few things i want to change the icon the icon you see here i want to change that i want to change the font uh, font style uh, let's say let's make it more bold or medium or anything right let's we can try it we can change the color and we can change the background color of that particular heading and we can also change the the style of the accordion item content right so how you can do that just click here let's run few basic settings here click on this manage items uh, here are your accordion items you see how we do it this is your heading if I change uh, anything to that heading let's say how we do it for for you sorry for the typo mistakes for it for you if i hit enter now it says what we do for you right so that's your heading and whatever you click here it will open with the content box also for that one so right now i'm on this how we do it section and inside that we have this text so let's say uh, you do that, you can add a new item or you can duplicate the existing one and you can do this collapse or you can keep it open, right? Now let's uh, learn about the few settings that you want. So it says choose the default stat, uh, first item open, all items open, all items closed. So whenever someone visits your website, you where you preview your website, right? So how you want it? You want any item to be open or not you want any every items to be closed or you want all the items to be open right it depends on you or whatever the way your designs are or however you want to set your accordions so right now it's slide down the animation is slide down means if i click on it will slide down the content box and then it will slide up if i click on any other accordion item the duration in seconds is like 0 0.25 milliseconds uh, for uh, that slide down thing right that was the setting but allow multiple open items so right now if I, I can open only one so if, if you want I can show you here if I click here see right now the first one is open if I can just click one right but if you want multiple item to be open at the same time uh, that user can click on the first and then he can also click on the second and third you can do it with this right i want all of my items to be closed when uh, it loads on my website so right now if you look at here it's closed but if i click here i can now have multiple items open at the same times uh, in in any, any items i click and i want to see so now let's look at about this layout in this layout you get these options like choose an icon right so right now it's arrow so you can make it plus but if you want to change all these things from velo coding you can do it with custom code but here let's stick with this uh the plus or the chevron down icon because that's the mostly used by by uh, every designers or the developers right icon left you want icons to be on the left side or the right side the space between items uh, if you want to add any space between your items you can do that 
I don't want any items uh, spacing, horizontal padding uh, between the items, right? Let's say 16. See, if you look at this, uh, you have your accordion and uh, uh, it is 16 leaving from horizontally left and right side. If you want any vertical, you can do that. If you don't, just <laughs> do zero, but let's use that. Uh, this is uh, the basic settings for your coding layout. So this is we just looked at and now let's look at uh, the settings here the styling Let's say my heading my titles my container my accordion items. Let's say my title uh, My title it's right uh, the state is the regular state. This is what uh, will be visible the first time user visits uh, your page and now let's say heading 6 right and the default font will be used here or you can change it to anything you want you can change the size you can change the color it's up to you let's make it uh, like uh, this color blue or orange let's use this orange and uh, when uh, you can you have so many options here if you want to add anything to your item right the title I'm not going to touch anything there but you can explore them yourself if you want to learn more on that side here uh, when someone hovers on my titles I want to change the colors from uh, orange to this blue right and I here that's done now the containers you have the, those containers and you, if you want to change the colors of those containers you can do it from here for those containers just click here and set the opacity to 100 now that you have the containers and shadow if you want to add a shadow you can do that the corners many changes you can do here for your containers let's say if you want to add a border you can add a border also now let's say according an item uh, that particular item if you want to make any changes there you can do it from here but i just want this this container i can select that particular container and I can go into my these uh, positioning settings where I can uh, add paddings and margins to my items okay. right but let's say for this one I want to use uh, let's say these size of fonts and uh, I want to use uh, anything what else I can use here um, nothing right I think that's it so uh, this is what uh, uh, we just made the setting to your accordion so right now if you look at here I know it's not looking that good but this is how you can make changes but you can follow these rules or uh, these steps to create your uh, accordions as per your designs right now if you look at here if I hover here the color is different the icon color that is also you can change so let me show you that quickly if I click here if I come to my titles if I come to my titles on hover here you see the icon I can change its color to this one and if you want to uh, increase the size also you can do it let's say 16 for example right so if i just preview it just look at this <laughs> right so this is how uh, you can uh, customize it and for responsiveness it's very simple you just uh, click here on this tablet mode it's perfect down here uh, and if you click uh, okay so one more thing that I want to show you that right now it's a fixed width of 750 right let's not do that because uh, that 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 the limit will be there if you are a little bit uh, squeezed your page is a little bit squeezed then the fixed width will be will stay there so I'm using 100% and that will apply to my mobile site also but here if you I want to change the because I, I think the hair had the headings are way big way big I don't want that so what I'll do I'll just come here and I'll make it 18 that's it so now you have your layout ready for the accordions right you can change your designs you can uh, make the changes as per your requirements so right now I think let's uh, horizontal padding let's remove it because I don't want it it's not looking that good so yeah this is how you can use it uh, accordions in Vic studio